Dear A Mighty Wind Ministry, My motivation for making this video is twofold. The first is that I have been a witness to many attempts to intimidate my YouTube friends. Secondly, I have concerns about your attempts to censor any criticism of your ministry. By the actions this ministry has demonstrated, at least to me, it indicates you are bitter enemies of free speech. It is patently clear to me that the DMCA notices you file against users on YouTube are done not so out of any genuine concern about copyright violation, but as a means of removing information critical of a mighty wind. Now, if I'm wrong on this point, show me a video that is critical of the organisation which includes a portion of a video that was produced by a member of a mighty wind that you have not filed a DMCA notice on. Second, I want to discuss your enemies list, and yes, I have seen a copy of it. This list has hundreds of names on it. Do you think that any holy ministry would keep a list of enemies? Your organisation's policies in this area resemble that of Scientology. The purpose of the list can only be speculated upon. Is it something to try to intimidate people with, or is it meant for internal circulation in order to prevent members of a mighty wind from interacting with the people on it? My guess is both. Third, I want to make a point about the subpoena that you attempted to serve on YouTube. You attempted to get the names and details of users on YouTube who are only known to you by their usernames, and then stated it was your intention to publish these details on a public website. Considering that some of these people were undoubtedly minors, this action was stupid when considered in the best light, and positively sinister and possibly life-threatening when considered in a darker context. Threatening to deliberately place people in harm's way is inexcusable. Finally, some observations about your videos. For a ministry that is devoted to the love of a God, you seem to devote an inordinate amount of time to defending yourselves. It's not uncommon to see marathon-length videos that can't possibly be made for anything other than internal consumption and self-justification. By the way, ad hominem attacks are no substitute for substance. Similarly, placing a picture of the person you're attacking next to a pig will always be seen by most casual observers as a cheap and futile attempt at dehumanisation, something I would have thought a ministry enshrining many Jewish ideals would have been a little bit more uneasy about. By comparison, you make very few videos that celebrate your faith, which indicates there is a distinct lack of substance to your beliefs and you are most probably utilising criticism from sources outside the group in order to garner solidarity from members. Let me make this point clear. The majority of videos a Mighty Win members produce are knee-jerk responses to critics or criticism with only a small portion devoted to espousing the core values of your organisation, with the subsequent comments appearing by approval only to be more examples of mutual ego tickling rather than any genuine critique. Responding to criticism is your right. However, the resources your ministry devotes to responses does appear to be way out of proportion to what would be considered necessary. In conclusion, I offer you this advice. The internet is a free speech zone. While a mighty wind is free to profess its values, others are free to criticise it. When you state a position, in particular a contentious theological one, then you can expect it to be scrutinised. A mighty wind has a right to as much free speech as those who criticise it. You have come to the marketplace of ideas that is the internet, and as such, there is both a potential for propagating your ideas and a whole world of criticism. Your voice is just one of many, and all of them have the right to be heard.